Valentine's Day is coming. Whoa, it's here. So I'm a divorce lawyer, William S. Foley of William S. Foley, PA, Foley Divorce. We do only divorce and family law in Florida. And I get a lot of questions about, are you jaded to love, to Valentine's Day, to these types of things? Because you see a lot of you know, destruction of, of, of marital relationships. No, I'm not jaded to it, but I also understand, you know, kind of the dynamic of what Valentine's Day does to people in general, and then also in the context if you're going through a divorce. So it can make it sting a little bit more, um, obviously, when you're going through it. And here's a quick tip, okay? So this is, this is tip, quick tip. And this is nothing, I'm not saying anything against 1-800-Flowers.com or Pro Flowers or anything, but those are really easy on a credit card statement to see that little line item. And if your spouse didn't get the flowers and your mom didn't get the flowers, or what, you see where I'm going with this. Like just, I mean, I don't know. And it's always around like, you know, what is it, a few days, processing time so like oh okay february 6th february 7th okay gotta get it gotta get make sure it gets there on time to work and you know hey hero look at that great but then you know when you're looking back through the credit card statements and you know 1-800 flowers pops up uh or victoria's secret pops up valentine's day <laughs> so yeah be aware that people look at these things. People understand what this is. This is a holiday for love, right? Love is in the air. So, you know, understand that, you know, we're, we're looking for it. We're looking for those little charges right around that time period in that little interesting window of February 14th. So yeah, right. It's tough. It's tough when you're going through divorce. I, there's no way around that. And we see, that's why I think we see a lot of of reconciliations. We see a lot of people that say, right around that time, you know, holidays and Valentine's Day, those are just two big, big areas for reconciliations for people to wanna to try to, you know, give it another go. And sometimes it works. I'm, I've had a lot of clients that have been able to reconcile and never have to see me again. And I'm sure they're ecstatic about that. But there's, you know, also another contingent that, you know, put on hold, reconcile a little bit and then come right back. And again, this YouTube page is fully divorced. And if you're interested at all in any of these videos, uh, if you're interested in, in this snazzy red jacket, um, or if you hate it, you know, whatever, um, either way, just, you know, you can comment below, uh, ask me any questions, it helps us. And then I'll, I'll, I'll answer it in another video coming up. So subscribe to the channel like the video, comment, we'd appreciate it.